I can say I've been in radio since I was a young kid. Something that I love. I'm going to be teaching uh, government and history, American history and government, at Bonneville Technical Careers High School. One of the things I've always said is our kids need to be taught the Constitution. They need to understand the founders. They need to understand the, the principles that this was built on. And now it's my opportunity to start trying to implement some of that in. He's the voice of the Vikings. He broadcast all the high school games. And as, uh, as a young boy, it took me long to do the statistics. And as I got old enough, he started having me doing the color work with him and talking about the games. My younger brother, Todd, had done a show called Interactive. He was doing it. And I went one one over to see him, and, and he said, why don't you go into the show? So I sat there with him and just listening. And he turned and he said, well, my brother Mark here. He says, Mark, what do you think about this? And so I started talking. He got up and walked away. And I didn't know what to do. I talked for about 30 seconds and I was out of things to say and he was out of the room and I was stuttering and stammering. I was so glad he walked back in. So my introduction to talk radio was a little difficult. We started Probing America and uh, we started it there. That was in April of 93 and the four of us doing it. Todd was only there for about a year and then he went to law school. Lance was in it until night through 1996 and then his health got so bad he had to leave and he said, I, we're gonna have to stop the show and he says, oh no, I'm gonna keep doing this. We started with Reel to Reel. And we were doing reel to reel to put on. We did cassettes. I went all the way through the uh, the mini discs and everything. And when we got a computer, we just thought that was the greatest thing in the world. So I'm not leaving the station because I'm forced out. Uh, they didn't come to me and say, "I'm sorry, but your show's been continued." Uh, this was me going to them. And the time was right. The circumstances were right. There comes a time in radio, and I, I would love to stay for another 20 years, but there comes a time when things are, you know, progressing and, and moving. And it, uh, this opportunity came to teach. And I thought, okay, here's the time to make the break. Thank you. I, I'd say. They're my friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're my friends. I, uh, I'm gonna miss them. I hope they come back on the Saturday show. I hope I get to, uh, to talk to them, to be able to be a part. But I've, uh, I, I go places and so many people come up and say, you're Mark Richardson, and, and I've never met him. And uh, it, it's wonderful to be able to go and have so many people that say, oh, we love what you're doing. It's not because of, of me. It's because of what we talk about. They love freedom. They love liberty. They love the, the Constitution and, and they love the, the United States of America. And they're my friends. And, and the bond. I, I, I told them thank you.